dusty red Botswana earth, the lonesome acacia trees on the horizon, the endless cups of sweetened bush tea in my hand, the barefoot children chasing a soccer ball down the dirt road as their mothers stand at their gates, cooking spoon in hand, calling them to supper. All these pieces that make up the beautiful mosaic of Botswana life have found a place in my heart since I first stepped foot in this small landlocked country, half a world away from my hometown in Oregon. The day our experiment group first met our host families to begin a three-week homestay in Otse, a moderate-sized village in southern Botswana, is still vivid in my memory. I remember piling our overstuffed luggage into one pickup truck and our anxious bodies into the accompanying minibus. As our bus inched closer to our host village, our voices became quieter. Our thoughts were within ourselves, our curiosity, expectation, and fears getting the best of us, as we wondered what our new families were going to be like, if our host siblings were going to like us, and if our host mothers would laugh at our meager skills in the kitchen. A sign along the main road pointed to the turnoff for Otse Village, and soon our bus was bumping along the dirt road to the village center. Every Botswana village has a kola, a large open-air circular area where community meetings and special events take place. And, as we arrived, we realized we were the special event in Otse that day. Mothers and fathers in their best dress gathered together at the far end of the kola, while young children skittered about, anxious and excited. We slowly crawled out of our bus, unsure of why we thought spending several weeks in a village, half a world away from the comforts of our own homes, was a good idea. A few awkward moments ensued when the fear and shyness of the strangers waiting for us was matched by our own anxieties. But then, a warm, enveloping voice rose from across the yard. Nizar, my son, a woman exclaimed, and she ran to embrace the new American son. A dozen other embraces soon followed as each of us was welcomed into our new families. Over the coming weeks, we would share meals, stories, games, and pictures with these families. We would give them our hearts as they shared theirs with us. Before we knew it, our bus was pulling away from the Kotla one last time, as our brothers and sisters, cousins and friends, even the family dog, ran after us. Tears were streaming down all of our faces. I soon returned to my family in Oregon. When I did, I realized that Botswana didn't feel half a world away anymore. Suddenly, it wasn't the differences between my family in Oregon and Botswana that stood out to me. It was the similarities. I began to see that the shared hopes and dreams of people across the globe are much greater than the differences that divide us. These common threads that weave humanity together have the strength to serve as foundations for building peace within each of us, our communities, and our planet. And the experiment gave me the confidence to find a role in building this peace.